Combine fans and welcome. This is Ty Snagler and joining me is senior women's hockey and women's lacrosse player Olivia Drew. Olivia, how has your senior year been going so far? Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. I'm just trying to leave it all out there and um, the hockey team's doing really well. We're doing well in the classroom too and um, there's not a lot to complain about right now. The Vines got off to a great start this year, their best start in seven years for Manhandville. You're currently fourth place in NEHC play. You can talk about how important it is for Manhandville to get off on the right foot. Yeah, well, we just wanted to come in as hot as we could, and we've just set the bar really high for ourselves this year. We're looking for a conference championship this year, and we're really set on that goal, and it's definitely achievable, and we all know it. And one of the big keys for Manhandle's success here has been the play of the goalies. You're one of three goalies that sees time in between the pipes for Manhandle. But out of those three goalies, you're the only upperclassman. So how have you been trying to lead those other two to set them up for success here in Manhandle? Taylor Rose and I, we get along really well. I think that's the most important part. We all have chemistry together, and we just want to push each other to make each other better. Um, we build each other up, which I think is like the most important part. Like Even though we keep, keep it competitive, we always just uh, want to see the other person succeed just as much as we want to see ourselves succeed, and I think that's something that we focused a lot on this year, um, just like being our biggest fans and just trying to keep it fun. And moving to lacrosse, the Valiants look to have a good team this year. You only lose two players off the of last year's squad. So what are your expectations for the women's lacrosse team this season? Uh, this year we come in with probably the highest expectations ever in my past like three years on the team. Uh, we just have so much talent through and through. It's just going to happen for us. We just have to make it work and make it click. Uh, there's only two people missing from the roster this year, but like it's not going to affect us too much just because we're all working so hard right now in the preseason and putting in all the work that we need to and it will bode well for us. And then there's no rest for you. You go straight from hockey to lacrosse. How are you able to make that jump and you know, not lose a step when lacrosse season rolls around? In the back of my mind during hockey season I'm always thinking about like the next season too just because I'm so excited about it and um, I definitely put in the work a little bit like with some wall ball and I get on the field and I run a little bit too so that helps with the transition but Trish is really helpful with like working us in slowly and slowly back into like the cardio shape hockey shape is a little bit different than lacrosse shape I guess but um, we're just we just work really hard and we just cat Jen and I we just try to transition as easy as possible and then last year you were tasked for the most part of guarding the best offensive player on the team in lacrosse. Was there any similarities or ways that you know hockey helped you when you're on defense going up in lacrosse? Um, I think for the most part you just have to read the situation and react to it and keep your head on a swivel and I think that's something that maybe not goalie but hockey in general has helped me with and it's definitely translated into lacrosse. And then along with two sports, you're a great uh, student athlete example. You're on the MAC honor roll the past few years. You got some research published as well last year. So how are you able to balance two sports and find a lot of success in the classroom? Um, I don't know. I just like to keep myself as busy as possible. Like Time is short, and I think I function best when I have the most going on. So it's just helpful to keep myself busy on the ice, on the field, and in the classroom. So. And then finally, Olivia, you got a few more weeks left of hockey, then lacrosse season coming up. What do you hope to accomplish before your lacrosse and hockey career come to an end? Well, overall, I just want to leave it all out there, like have no regrets at all. Um, I want a conference championship with both ice hockey and lacrosse. Like we work too hard not to make it happen for ourselves. And um, Hopefully we can all just attain that goal and I'll be so happy. <laughs> Thanks, Livy. Congrats on a great career and good luck in hockey and in lacrosse season. Thank you. And that was senior Olivia Drew. This is Ty Snagler signing out for the 2017 Senior Spotlight. Money.